Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ricky with Tech Putts Garage and we've been getting this question quite a bit um, and it's literally just the idea of how much does it cost to insure a supercar? So uh, I wanted to give you guys some real life examples of right now what I'm paying for my 2015 Huracan 610-4 and my 2018 McLaren 720S. I wanna make sure that we get everything kind of like clear of the type of coverage I have, um, you know, the insurance company that I have that you don't need to have yourself uh, and also my driving history. So one of the things that I need you guys to understand is under the state of Arizona, and I'm making sure that this is clear, under the state of Arizona, I do not have any previous tickets. Therefore, I am not paying a premium or anything of that sort because of my driving history. And I actually wanted to show you guys screenshots of what it is that I'm paying with my state farm insurance. Uh, you guys, I don't think will essentially kind of like believe what it is that I'm actually paying. And let me actually explain to you how it is that I did this. So so none of these two cars that I have back here are as my primary car. And I'm okay with sharing that because uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is, uh, first of all, these are supercars. You probably don't want to put too many miles on them. Uh, so one of the things that I made sure that I express to the agent that I worked with with State Farm is that I'm going to be putting about one to 2,000 miles a year on each one of those cars. And State Farm actually has some form of policy where they will reduce your rate because the actual vehicle is not being driven as frequently as as maybe an everyday driver. On top of that, I work from home and I do everything from home. I day trade, I invest in real estate, and I buy and resell cars, things that don't require me uh, to leave my house. I leave my house for two main reasons, and one is the gym, the second one is to get food since I never cook at home. Let's go ahead, and first I wanna start with the McLaren. The McLaren was the one that I bought almost a year ago, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, December 16th, and correct me if I'm wrong, but December was the month that I bought this 2018 McLaren 720S. At a 570s before and i was pretty scared with like you know what the premium was going to be uh, i need you guys to know i have everything from uninsured motorist uh to you know the the highest type of coverage that i could get for these type of cars because i want to make sure that not only do i protect myself uh, but i protect the other people on the road as there's no question that i do drive pretty fast time to time so i just felt like it was only right uh, one of the things that i also need you guys to understand is that my deductible on this car um, for both cars are set at two thousand dollars i know that that's not average some people can set you know zero deductible i don't drive these cars very often i feel like i'm a pretty safe driver and when it comes down to wrecking these cars let's be honest two thousand dollars is the least of my worries when it comes down to you know my out of pocket i do have a pretty high deductible which overall does lower my monthly payment so what it costs to insure my 2018 mclaren 720s on a monthly basis with full coverage uh, uninsured motorists and everything that you could think of is 235 dollars and some change my lamborghini huracan 610-4 that's going to be $315 and some change. And some of you guys might be like, well, what the heck? Like that is maybe more expensive. So I was actually talking to Michael uh, that he's saying for his Honda Civic, he pays a little bit over $100 for his insurance, but he also has a speeding ticket. Uh, and one of the things that I think that you guys need to take into consideration is, you know, how often are you driving the car? Uh, what is your, you know, driving history? And on top of that, what is set as your primary car? I wanted to be completely transparent and show you guys that uh, under my policy one of the many discounts that I have is I have a good car I have a good car driver discount and I have a multi car discount but one of the things that you guys want to take into consideration is that none of these two cars are set as my primary car I actually have my 2014 Maserati Ghibli set as my primary which as of right now because I have it at a shop getting its tires changed and I've been trying to get its tires changed for about the two months. Uh, I set it up as a car that is my primary car, but as of right now, it's not being driven. Therefore, it only costs me 18 or $19 a month to have under my policy with $315 on top of that for the Lamborghini Huracan. And we have $235 for the McLaren 720S. You guys know that we're all about getting a good deal when it comes down to the different cars that we drive. So just put it this way. People always view cars as depreciating assets. And you know, uh, for the average person, I would say, yeah, that does make sense. Uh, but if you understand what a car is worth, you make sure that you don't overpay, especially if you have cash. My 2015 Lamborghini Huracan, I bought one of the cheapest ones in the country from a foreign student that needed to go back to China. Therefore, I was able to leverage the capital that I had to get an absolute steal. So I could enjoy it over the summer. And now that we're back into fall, I'm gonna go ahead and post it for a premium, most likely either a student or someone's going to be buying this car. And I'm gonna make about 10 to $15,000 profit on it. And guess what? I enjoyed it. I didn't lose money because I set myself up for success by understanding 
what that car is worth, making sure that I don't overpay, allowing an opportunity to present itself. When it does, I live in a state that is pretty amazing when it comes down to this. I don't have to pay private party sales tax. I only have to pay for registration. And if I only keep it for three to four months, then I get a partial registration refund here in Arizona. So there's a lot of things that are working in my favor. And this is why we always empower our viewers to become more well-educated on what the policies and what specific programs are available within your state and how you can take advantage of these deals and not break the bank. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys would like to connect, I do want to invite you to our free Facebook group. It's called Flipping Wheels and it's literally where we just connect with like-minded individuals. If you're a car person and you wanna connect with other car people that are absolutely killing it in this market, people are buying and reselling cars from you know your very exotics to your everyday drivers. Just make sure that you don't overpay for the next car that you buy. I really hope that I earn your thumbs up and make sure that in the comments section you guys drop what video you guys would like to see next when it comes down to anything of the supercars that we have here. Really do appreciate your guys' time and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.